So we're live in the workshop. Uh, Bradley's invited me into Marky's job. We've gone through the full tests. Um, he's now popped his covers off and we're ready to show me the terminations. However, at this stage, it's not a case of just dropping your job off, stripping off the board and going to the next one. Bradley's going to answer some questions to see how much deeper learning he's managed to achieve during the exercise itself. So Bradley, we're installing a PVC conduit exercise. Yep. And what size is your conduit? Uh, 20 mil. And can you give me the other three common sizes to go with 20 mil? 16 mil, um, 25 mil and 32 mil. Good. We talked about the need or the lack of need for an RCD on this circuit. However, our distribution boards have an RCC be in. If the RCD was there for additional protection, what's its maximum milliamp rating? 30 milliamps. And what type of faults will an RCD clear? Faults to R. They will do. Uh, we've installed a lighting circuit size of the breaker. B6. It's a B6. B, yeah, okay, B6. We'll go with that. Um, that's okay. Uh, name the first test. Sorry, name the first dead test you carried out. Uh, Continuity of CPC. Which test did you include at the same time? Polarity. What did you put in the polarity box? <laughs> Tip. Um, what does R1 stand for? R1 stands for line. R2? R. Well, CPC. Oh, right. good correction, Sorry. yes. Part, Part of the Earth, Earth family, <laughs> yes, okay. Um, what else are we going to go for? Size of cable. Why the line circuit that was in conduit? Which size cable did we use? I believe it is. 10 mil? 10 mil cable for the lighting circuit, yeah? All around in 10 mil cable? Totally forgot. 1.5 mil. Oh, from no, 1.10 mil? 1.5. Can 5. you describe the construction of the conductors when it's wired in conduit for me? Um, stranded. Stranded. And made of what material? Copper. Copper. IP rating of the top of all electrical enclosures when we left them had to be? 4x. And the rest of the enclosures, so we're talking about sides, bottom and front? 2x. 2x. That's not bad, is it? That's all your terminations. That's pressure. Well done. Ready? I'm going to look up. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's. So I've moved across to a Beal, and a Beal wasn't really overly keen to do this, were you, a Beal? Mm, a bit no. shy. Um, English is not your first language, is it? Yep, so we're no. going to really try and be clear and precise, okay. but it doesn't mean this kid doesn't know his stuff. So, okay, we're going to see if we can work it out. Okay. So, um, I'm taking off your switches and checking your terminations. The green yeah. and yellow conductor here, we're going to call it what? CPC. And what does CPC stand for? Uh, circle protective conductor. Good. The brown one? Line. The blue one? Neutral. Okay. We've got a metal electrical enclosure here and here. What type yeah. of conductive parts are they? Exposed. They're exposed conductive parts. Brilliant. In here, yep. we have two pins. Yep. Okay. Which one's line and which one's neutral? No polarity. It has no polarity. polarity. What does that really mean? It doesn't matter which one it goes. It doesn't matter which it one it goes. Matter which one go, yeah. Brilliant answer. What size is the fuse for a lighting circuit? Um, B6. It's a B6, and yeah. unlike Bradley, do you know yeah. what size cable you're using to wire the lighting circuit? 1.5. We are 1.5 millimeter squared cable. Yep. Plastic conduit, do you know what size it is? 20. And do you know how long a length of plastic conduit is? Um, 20, 25, 30. How long in length? So when I get a length of plastic conduit? Three, three millimeter. Th three three, mi three meter. 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 Yeah, I know what you mean, mm -hmm. three meters. Two and a half years ago, a Beal couldn't speak English, and he's just told you that this lamp holder has no polarity. He's just told you the line neutral and circuit protective conductor. This kid works harder than any other kid in this classroom to make sure he keeps up with us, and we're very proud of him. Thanks, Bill. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You mind? Ah, uh, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, so I've moved over to Logan, who's currently going to carry out his insulation resistance test. He's done his continuity of CPC and polarity. We're ready to do insulation resistance test before we can go live. And we're going to see if we can uh, get some extra information out of Logan at this stage. So, Logan, what uh, value of voltage have you set your test instrument up for insulation resistance? 500 volts. Is that AC or DC? DC. Okay, and in order to do the insulation resistance test, what must you have ensured about your switch and your light fitting? The switches are on. Switches are on and the covers? On. On. We've got an RCCB here, and yeah. you made sure it was in which position? Off. Why did you make sure it was off? Because you want to um, put 500 volts through the electronics. Yeah, so of course we don't want to pass 500 volts through the electronic components within the RCD. Brilliant. What's the smallest acceptable value of insulation resistance? Yeah. One megaohm. And what does mega stand for? A million. Are we expecting a very tiny one megaohm, yeah. or are we expecting a massive reading? Massive. Okay, let's, let's carry out that test then. Really good. Go line and neutral. Good. 
999. Yep, greater than the reading of the machine, so greater than 999. Fine enough. 999. Brilliant. And then the final one. Half neutral. Nine, nine, nine. Excellent. So last one between the earth and the neutral. Brilliant. Yep. So you happy with the insulation resistance test? Yes. Okay, so now we can go on and go live? Yep. Okay. Which of these conductors, this is the most difficult question. Okay. Which of these conductors here should we have had connected during the test in order to do insulation resistance test? All of them. All of them? Would we want the line and neutral and earth? One of them has to oh. be connected. Which one's the one that has to be connected? Earth and neutral. The, the earth itself has to be connected to supply authority's earth, okay. yeah? Okay, yeah. and we're 20 weeks in and we're still at that stage where we're remembering that we must connect that main earthing conductor in yes. in order to carry out the test. Really well done. Mum will be proud. Yeah, well done. Cool. Follow our journey on Facebook. We hope this video has been some help.